Good morning, Canada. Look at this. Two, two gold medals on home soil. <laughs> well done, well done. What a great day for Canada. Yes, 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 my name is Keith. I'm recording this in Mississauga, Ontario. And this is the K-Smack Winterman from Facebook. And look, he's wearing a gold medal this morning in honor of Mayel, Mayel won the gold medal in snowboard cross. Wow, I can say it now, snowboard cross. I want to say wakeboarding or cross country or, or uh, motocross, but it's snowboard cross. It's kind of a new sport and it's rough. It's tough winter, man. It is. You know, it's you never know who's going to win or lose in this sport because it's easy to fall down even in qualification. Poor Dominique from Canada didn't even get to be in the main event because well, you have to qualify and it's tough. It's tough. But anyway, Canada got its second gold. Man, Facebook went crazy. I'm on Facebook watching the, the like uh, Mayel come down the hill. And as soon as she won, Facebook lights up. Everyone's typing in, gold for Canada, gold for Canada. And they start their own discussion groups of uh, Mayel wins, Mayel wins. You know, it's really exciting. You can tell people all across Canada are in on this. And it's really big. Hmm. Okay, other sports today that took place. Canada got going and curling with both the men and the women, and it's all victorious winter man. Top teams. Canada men won twice, the women won once. So that was a great way to start. And of course, winter man's favorite sport. Look at that team jersey. Hockey, hockey. Canada won eight nothing against the Swiss. That's pretty cool. You know, it's not easy to get a team together of all stars and play, and it's a good game to warm up, tune up, and get the get the feel for each other and stuff like that. So eight nothing win is pretty good, very good for Canada. Oh, the medal ceremonies. I'm watching for them on television late at night because they take place at ten o'clock my time here in the, in Ontario. But I didn't see any last night. I don't know. They're not showing it or something. Um, I'm expecting it either late at night or something. I don't know why. They're not doing that. Anyway, I like to see the Canadians getting their medals and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, meet uh, Mayel. I've got to pronounce that name right. Mayel. <laughs> Her medal ceremonies was supposed to be tonight, too. And then, but they changed it. They canceled it. Um, I, they said the event went too long, but I think what happened is <laughs> they know it's going to be packed and they want everyone to know about it. So they made it, well, tomorrow night. And <laughs> that way it'll be packed and people have a chance to hear about it and then get tickets and stuff. So I think they're pretty clever because it's a big money-making thing. Okay, we're going to do an experiment right now just before we sign off. You know, I'm going to ask the winter man some questions and see if he passes out because he's very sensitive to things. And uh, if something affects him, you'll know it. Okay, now here we go. I'm going to say two words. Men curling. Men curling. Oh, that worked. Okay, um, men Hockey. Hockey winter man. Hockey. Men. Hockey. No, that worked. Okay. Men. Figure skating. Men. <laughs> he doesn't like figure skating. <laughs> Don't combine men and figure skating. Okay, I watched the men's short program. Oh, bits and pieces of it. And this men and figure skating just doesn't appeal to me. Oh, no. Winter man's fallen and he can't get up. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning to start speculating on what's going to happen on day five. <laughs> Don't mention figure skating around the winter, man. He'll pass out. Okay, nice talking to you. Well done, Canada. Another gold medal. Well done. Meow. Meow.